Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over a few of the transformation functions in Metabang Paint, which is my program of choice. It did take me a while to figure out um, a few of these functions and a tutorial like this would have been super helpful for me. So I just wanted to compile one now. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. I plan to do future tutorials on Metabank Paint as well. Um, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I've already uh, hidden a lot of these layers because this feature works on the selected layer. Um, you know, I'm not sure how to select multiple layers, so I've just condensed the color and line art layer here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to um, select in the layer. So come up to the left side here. I wish that you could see my mouse, but um, if you're in landscape mode, it's going to be the third option down. And here we have... Um, we have select all, deselect, inverse, and then we have select portion here. So if you click select portion, that's gonna select everything in the selected layer. And then at, after you have that selected, we can now proceed to transform our image here. Um, so what you're gonna do is click right back on the square dots here, and then um, right next to select portion, we have zoom in, zoom out, we have free transform, mesh transform, and create boundary. Uh, I, I honestly don't use mesh transform or free transform that much, but I will show you how to use those as well. Um, so zoom in, zoom out here, and then this is how you move and uh, scale up or scale down your image. And um, if you select the corners, it will keep the same proportions. Whereas if you select, um, you know, free transform, you are able to um, kind of change the proportions as well. And I'm going to kind of show you what I'm talking about here. And when you have it where you'd like it, you can go ahead and click set. And then it will still have selected here um, the original size, but just deselect it and then um, back over here to select portion. And next I'm going to show you how to uh, flip this horizontally and vertically. So that function is actually going to be on the right side in the layers section. Uh, so when you have your layer selected, you're going to come down to these three dots here right next to the lock icon and um, you have a lot of options here it's going to be under layer management we have merge down duplicate clear and then we have flip vertically and flip horizontally um, so if you want to flip horizontally uh, there you go you can flip that horizontally and then you can undo as well but what i'm going to do is um, back over here, I'm going to duplicate my layer and then I'm going to, um, the duplicated layer, I'm then going to flip horizontally there, okay? So we have this here and then what I'm going to do just so I can show you a few of the other functions is back up here on the left, zoom in, zoom out, and I'm just going to move this over. Um, so this is just really cool. You can play with your image. Um, you know, I don't know if you're maybe into album covers or whatever the case may be. You can manipulate this in a lot of different ways in Metabang. And uh, what I like about Metabang is it is totally free. It's also great for making uh, comics, traditionally for comics or webtoons. Uh, and I'll, I'll save that for another tutorial. Go ahead and click set. And then, of course, deselect again. And now we have uh, two layers here. We have the one on the left, we have the one on the right. So what I'm gonna do next is up the one on the right side. I'm actually going to show you here, uh, flip that vertically. 
And so, you know, there we have our image as well. Well, first what I'm gonna do is combine these two. And I'm just gonna do that by these three buttons on the right side and click merge down. Now these are both on the same layer. I'm gonna show you now how to do the free transform and how that differs from the zoom in and zoom out option. First, we do need to select our layer. So, you know, what you can do is back here to select portion, or you could also go up at the top here. There are some options. You see these, the dots up here, and you can select that way as well. I typically always do the lasso so that I'm more in control. Um, and then you just, you know, select here. And since we're on this layer, my background is a separate layer here. Um, it's only gonna take from, it's only gonna affect, you know, this layer here that we have selected. So right up here to free transform. And then this is a little bit different when you, you know, start transforming. It's not gonna keep the same proportions. As you can see here, it's kind of bending. You can bend it inwards. You can really play around with it and it won't, won't keep the same proportions if that's you know an effect that you're interested in. Um, yeah, and so you can mess around with that if you'd like. Um, perspective correction, I never really use, you know, it's pretty good at maintaining the perspective itself um, but you know that option's there if you want it to be absolutely spot on and then just when you're finished go ahead and click set and um, again i'm just gonna move this up a little bit so that i can show you the next thing which is um, I'm just gonna honestly duplicate the layer again and select the layer, zoom, and then, you know, there we go. These are just kind of the basic transformation functions in MetaBang. Do you keep in mind though, when you are duplicating layers, um, you know, this is something that could happen in MetaBang. It's something that I don't like about MetaBang. It doesn't maintain the image as well the more times that you duplicate it and mess with it. So it's something I just try to do um, in a very subtle way if it's absolutely necessary or if it adds to the image. But that is all for this tutorial. Just short and sweet, basic MetaBang transformation. If this video was of any help to you at all, leave a like, subscribe, because I will be making future tutorials on MetaBank. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next video.